In this video, we're going to be looking at trig derivative uh, rules, uh, class examples. So let's look at example one. We are given our function is sine of 5x. We want to find the derivative. Now recall, the derivative of sine of u is cosine of u times u prime. So in this case, the, uh, uh, the u will be represented with 5x. So if we want to find the derivative of sine of u, it's simply just going to be cosine of 5x times the derivative of 5x, which is 5. Okay, moving on to example two. We have y is equal to the square root of cosine of x squared. All right, first thing that we do is whenever we see a radical, uh, we want to always start by rewriting it with, um, with the function raised to a rational exponent. So we can rewrite it first as y is equal to cosine x squared to the one half. All right, so now we have a chain rule that we have to use to find the derivative. Uh, if you recall, with chain rule, we have different layers, and we want to take care of the outermost function's derivative. And then we can take care of uh, uh, the inner function's derivative. In this, ca in this case, there's going to be uh, three uh, parts or three layers that we have to go through. So the first part, first part is outside the bracket to the one half. So if we want to find the derivative, we bring down the one half, keep everything inside the bracket, okay. go through power rule, subtract one from the exponent, so one half minus one is negative one half. Okay. So now we've taken care of the outermost function's derivative, we move on to the next level, um, or the next function, uh, which is cosine. Okay. If you recall, the derivative of cosine is negative sine of u times u prime. So now we move on, cosine of x squared, the derivative is negative sine of x squared, right, x squared is, re is representing um, the u value here. So now the innermost function is the x squared, which is the u value. We still define the derivative of, of, uh, u, of u, which is u prime, so the derivative of x squared becomes 2x. Okay. So now we have to put all this together. Um, as one fraction. So first, uh, the twos can cancel out. Uh, the x and the sine of x squared uh, stays up in the numerator. The cosine x squared moves down to the denominator because we have a negative exponent. Bring that down. We have cosine of x squared to the one half, which we can rewrite as radical, back in radical form, square root of x, uh, square root of cosine of x squared, with the numerator being negative x sine of x squared. Okay. Next example, y is equal to the cube root of tangent of uh, 6x to the fourth plus 3x minus 2. Again, we want to rewrite our function um, as uh, with a rational exponent and getting rid of the, uh, the radical so we can see uh, the different um, parts of the function and how we can best apply uh, the chain rule. Okay, so y is equal to uh, tangent of 6x to the 4th plus 3x minus 2 raised to the 1 third. Okay, again, we go through chain rule. Okay, go through, uh, we ignore everything inside the, print, inside the bracket. We just think of this as one big variable raised to the one-third. And we can go through power rule, bring down the one-third, keep our big uh, bracket, subtract one from the original exponent, so one-third minus one is negative two-thirds. Okay, so now we move on to, we've taken care of the outermost function's derivative. Now the next function in is tangent, and if you recall, the derivative of tangent is secant squared u times u prime. 
So tangent of u, right, this is my u value. So tangent of u becomes secant squared of u times u prime. So u prime is the derivative of what you see um, inside the parentheses. So 6x to the fourth becomes 24x cubed. 3x becomes 3. Negative 2 is a constant, goes to 0. Okay, so now here we have our derivative, and now we just have to um, combine it into one fraction. Okay, let's put all the, uh, the parts that belong in the numerator up top. So 24x uh, cubed plus 3, x th uh, secant squared, 6x to the fourth plus 3x minus 2. And then the denominator, 3 times tangent 6x to the fourth plus 3x minus 2 raised to the two thirds. Uh, we can factor out the 3 from the numerator, and that will allow us to cancel out uh, with this 3, leaving us with 8x cubed plus 1, secant squared of 6x to the fourth plus 3x minus 2, all over, and I can uh, bring this back into radical form, cube root of tangent squared of 6x to the fourth plus 3x minus 2. All right, two more examples. Okay. We want to find the derivative of secant squared of pi x. Again, we can go through, uh, we want to rewrite our function. Uh, anytime you see a squared here, it may be helpful uh, to bring it outside um, a bracket. So you can see that this is the outermost function that we have to deal with first with chain rule. Okay, bring down the 2, keep the parentheses, subtract 1 from the exponent. We're going through power rule for the outermost function. Now we move on to the inner function, which is secant of u. And if you recall, the derivative of secant of u is secant of u times tangent u times u prime. So the u value in this case is pi x. So the derivative of secant of pi x is secant of pi x tangent of pi x times u prime. So we don't find the derivative of the pi x until after we've taken care of the outer uh, function's derivative. In this case, secant of u tangent of u. And now the derivative of u prime of u, the derivative of pi x is just going to be pi. Finally, we can combine. This is secant pi x times secant of pi x will give you secant squared pi x. Uh, the coefficients 2 and pi can uh, go to the front and then followed by tangent of pi x. Finally, example 5. If sine of x plus y is equal to 3x plus 2y, find dy over dx. Okay, here we have to go through implicit differentiation. Uh, we have the x, we have the y's um, um, defined implicitly. Uh, it's mixed in uh, with the, the rest of the equation. So we go through each function and see if we can apply the derivative, the appropriate derivative rules. So if we look at sine, sine of u, the derivative of sine of u is cosine of u. In this case, the u value um, is the x plus y. So cosine of u times u prime. So that's the first part. Cosine of u, x plus y, times u prime. So u prime is the derivative of this x plus y. So the derivative of x is 1, and the derivative of y is 1, but then every time we find the derivative of y, we have to um, attach dy dx. Okay, equals, okay, 3x becomes 3, 2y becomes 2, but then we, uh, becomes 2, but we attach dy dx. Now, this x plus y is inside the cosine function, uh, and our next step is trying to, uh, uh, trying to combine all the terms with dy dx uh, so that we can eventually solve for dy dx. Okay. We have to distribute this through this parenthesis so that we can separate this and eventually get dy dx by itself. So if we distribute the cosine of x plus y through, we get cosine x plus y plus dy dx cosine x plus y is equal to 3 plus 2 dy dx. 
Okay. Next, we want to um, combine the terms with dy dx attached to it. Okay. We move those terms to the left of the equation. And then the cosine of x plus y move to the right side of the equation because we're trying to isolate, we're taking steps to isolate dy dx. Okay. Finally, factor out the dy dx, leaving us with cosine x plus y minus 2. And then finally, to get dy dx by itself, we divide uh, the brackets both sides of the equation. So then we're left with the derivative being 3 minus cosine x plus y all over cosine x plus y minus 2.